Hello guys, welcome to another video. So, it's been quite a while since I've last posted, and that's mostly due to the fact that I was sick for around a week, had a pretty bad fever, stopped trading for a while, but I'm feeling a lot better and ready to get back into things. So, I got a lot of requests to make a video about how to sell items in general, like what trade servers do I play on, uh, what websites do I use, what other things do I do to get some deals, and I hope you can learn something. So let's get into this. Alright, before we get into the video, I'd like to mention that even though Tip of the Hats, the live stream event has ended, uh, I do believe they're still accepting donations. If you don't know what Tip of the Hats is, it's a annual charity event hosted on TF2, and it raises money for Camp One Step, which is a camp for kids with cancer, and They've raised a crazy amount of money this year, over $230,000. They've been around since like 2014, and I think in total they've raised close to a million dollars through the TF2 player base alone, which is absolutely crazy. And this is from, this is where the actual tipped lid comes from, uh, tip of the hats, if you're wondering. So, if you want to donate cash, you could do that through PayPal, or you could donate items through scrap.tf. So, you can donate items through your backpack, and it gives you a cash value for how much cash they would consider the donation. If you donate a certain amount of money, then you can enter these pretty cool raffles for nice items like a golden frying pan, uh, and you get a guaranteed medal if you donate a certain amount of money. This bronze medal or copper medal is for $10 silver medal for 30 and if you donate a hundred dollars you'll get one of these gold medals in game and I've donated I think yeah I donated my BMOC this year and they valued it at around $13 $14 so I will be getting one of these pins um, so yeah if you want to donate that'd be pretty cool if you don't that's also fine so yeah so I think the tip of the hats donations actually end tomorrow, uh, so sorry if you missed that. I know this video is very late, uh, but anyways, there's always next year. But on to the topic. So today's video is, like I mentioned, about selling your items, because buying things is the easy part. You could throw money at someone and they'll give you something, but selling it, selling items, selling hats is not the easiest task by any means. Not everyone's willing to throw money at it. They'll only throw money at it if they either really like it or think they can profit. So, I'm gonna give you like five big tips on how to sell your items. So, here they go. First thing, patience. This is probably one of the most important parts of trading. You have to have patience. Things don't sell instantly. And I see a lot of mistakes traders make is they buy a hat or they trade for a hat and they've had it for a day, maybe two days, haven't gotten any offers and they think they've made a terrible mistake and the hat's no good and they just panic and sometimes they just panic sell it for a terrible deal. Don't do this. It doesn't sell instantly. Hats don't sell instantly. It could take anywhere from heck a few minutes to a few days few weeks, sometimes even a couple months it could take to sell an item, but offers will come. So that actually points me to my next topic of just how to get those offers. So the second topic is offering, and don't be afraid to offer on people's stuff. The worst thing they can say is no, and that's not bad at all. If they rant on about you, say bad things to you, that's not your fault, they're just salty for whatever reason. And, well, it, it's the main part of trading, offering on people's items. So, that can help a lot. It can speed up trading quite a bit. Sometimes if I have a kind of bad hat, I just send maybe 10 trade offers overnight. And if one gets accepted, or if a guy adds me to talk about it, then I consider that a, a really big success. Because it can help sell things so much faster if you just offer. That also points me to another 
point, which is negotiation and connections. So this is a very important part of trading too, is negotiation. So what I like to do is just offer on people's items and ask them if they're interested, ask them if they need ads or they need more or they want different items. I'm open to offers. So just be open to offers, make some offers, and just talk about it with people, negotiate. Connections is also a pretty important thing. It could be very helpful and it's not crucial, but it does help a lot. So by connections, I mean just building up your friends list of traders, um, regularly going on trade servers, uh, socializing with the traders there, get to know them a bit, let them get to know you a little bit. So then sometimes if you have a few traders on the tr on your friend list, they might point people your direction if you have a special hat they want. And you can just get a lot of offers from them. Just hit them up once in a while, say, hey, are you interested in offering on this? So yeah, connections, negotiation isn't crucial, but it's very, very helpful. The next two parts are more about personality, and that's just to be confident and kind. If you're confident in what you're selling, then people will be more interested in them. If you have zero confidence in what you're selling, if you say your hat's trash, you've had it for a month, let's say, you don't want to just spout nonsense about your hat. Heck, it might be true, but... Talking bad about your hat, not being confident, doesn't really want anyone else to buy your hat. It makes it a lot less interesting. Uh, so if you're making a voice advertisement, if you're very confident, you are you don't hesitate, you just list your items, what you're selling for, open to offers, then people will be much more interested. And being kind is very important as well because people will want to come back to you to offer, and people will want you to offer more. They might just like you for your personality, and being kind helps a lot. So those are the five main points of trading, in my opinion, or just selling your items. And now I'm just gonna show you some servers I use and some websites, and just some little tips. So here we go. This is the main website I use while trading. Backpack.tf, you all should use it if you're trading. And here is where I get a lot of trades done, buying and selling. Um, so it, your backpack, it shows all the items here. This is from 20 days ago, because I don't want to spoil anything. If you want to sell an item, then or make a sell order for your item, then hover over it and click on sell. So it'll bring you to this page where you can create your listing. And this item says it's 29.28 ref. That's the suggested price. So I'm just going to say, uh, I don't know, 29 point, you know, I'll just do 29 ref. Let's say this were an unusual. Here in this box, you can type anything you want. Uh, so if this were an unusual, let's say it's clean, it's not duplicated, you'd probably want to mention that or if it's rare, like only one exists or something, just say like one of two or one of one or only one in existence, that's a good thing to say. Just wanna mention all the positive things about your hat. Of course, don't lie, because that's not very nice. It's not very cool. Um, down below, you can say add me to trade or send a trade offer. So I personally set it to send me a trade offer because it's easier for the other person and I allow a negotiation. You can also set it to offer buyout only, but whatever's fine. And that's where you put your Steam trade URL, and you can create your listing here. So, got the Lone Survivor. Already did this once before here. Uh, so if you click on stats, you hover over the item, click on stats, this will bring the stats page show all the buyers and the sellers so here I am 29 ref and here's a buyer at 30.55 so since I saw that I'm gonna remove that listing because someone will snatch that 
and I personally don't really want to sell this yet. So yeah, that's one way to list your items for sale. Helps gets a lot of trades done. Here's another website I use quite often, Steam ID Finder. So this website is very useful for trading, not only for selling items, but this is my Steam profile, ApocTF. If I were to type that in on backpack.tf, it couldn't find my profile, and that's because I have a custom Steam URL. So, if you type that on the Steam ID Finder and click Submit, then it'll show the profile and show the Steam 64 ID. So you need to have this ID in backpack.tf to actually find the profile. You can also type in the permalink. That works too. There. So, yeah, it, this is very useful. Loadout.tf is good. It helps preview loadouts that you might want to make, maybe some dream sets. But I like to use it when I'm selling unusuals because I uh, have my purple energy party phantom here, have that inputted. Let's say I want to make a cool loadout to match it. And I highly suggest this if you have expensive, uh, expensive hats because having a cool loadout to match your hat will make it look a lot nicer and could help it sell a lot faster. So you can experiment with items and stuff, um, different hats, try to find a cool loadout that people would like. And it works with all the classes, you can change the colors, it's very useful. On to the next one, this is a percentage calculator. I use this because I don't have a calculator at hand most of the time, and it's very good for finding discounts and stuff. Uh, let's say someone has a, I don't know, 187 key hat, and they have it for 150 keys. What's that discount? It's 19%. So it's good for finding out if a deal is a quick sell or not, or if what you're selling your hat for is a quick sell price. Here's another website that's very popular, marketplace.tf. Um, you can use these to sell, you can use this website to sell items for cash. You could buy items with cash. It's pretty safe and you can get some good deals. So, for example, uh, if you want to buy keys to start trading or whatever, or maybe unbox, and I highly suggest doing it here because you can get them pretty cheap, $1.77, and they're instantly tradable. Um, but sometimes you could find unusuals at close to the quick buyer price on backpack.tf and if you have cash on hand then sometimes it could be a good investment but that's only if you want to do cash trades and on to the trade servers so I use two trade servers for unusual trading and those are Vatican City and Firepowered so these are the two most popular trade servers um, well, they're basically the two only trade servers for unusuals. I don't think there's any other popular ones at the moment. Uh, so Vatican City, I'm on most most of the time, just because usually always has people on. Firepowered's also nice. The only problem with Firepowered that some people have is that you can't advertise that you're buying quick sells, but it's pretty good if you're selling items, just because if people are buying, then they're usually paying more than quick sell price. So yeah, those are two servers for unusuals that are pretty nice, or if you have other high tier items. Uh, but if you don't have high tier items, like you're doing, I don't know, scrap banking, if that's still even possible, I don't know, trading card stuff, low tier spells, just stranges and stuff, then there's lots of trade servers around, like trade Minecraft servers, trade plaza servers. Um, most of them are empty, but there's quite a few that have a handful of people in them. And you can get some pretty good deals there, because usually if someone wants an item that you have, then they're willing to pay full price or something just to keep it. Uh, so that's pretty nice. You can get some decent deals on these lower tier trade servers. So this is Vatican City. I get most of my trades done here, and it's probably one of the more popular unusual trade servers. It's not saying much since there's really only two. Um, but yeah, I get the majority of my trades here, whether it be selling items or quick buying items. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a very good place to get stuff done. 
So, right now what I'm doing is in the chat in the bottom left, I am spamming a trade bind, a chat bind every so often. And this bind just shows what I'm trying to trade. And right now, what the bind says is I am selling, that's what the S stands for, three clean unusuals. Uh, DBD stands for Disco Beatdown, Disco Beatdown Phono Knot for 80 keys, less the price, and something good about the item. So this one's a one of one all class. The Purple Energy Party Phantom, less the price, say a good thing about it, it's the Spy Misk. Uh, Cloud9 Virtual Viewfinder for the price listed, 180 keys. And another thing that good, good about it, it's an all class misk. Um, so that's what the trade bind says. I'll show you how to make one. Um, you want to have your console open by pressing tilde. If you don't know how to do this, then open your options, click advanced, and enable it. So, to make a bind, bind and whatever key you want to bind it to. quotation mark and say so right now is what you type that will go into the chat uh, so selling let's say purple energy party phantom so like I did in my bind you want to list the price and maybe something cool about the hat let's say uh, it's a fresh unbox, that's how you unboxed it, one person history, or if it's the only one in existence, or maybe the only one on the market for sale. So th there's a lot of things you could list about your hat, maybe it's clean, maybe it's duped, whatever. You probably want to put it in your trade bind. Uh, let's say you're selling a lot of items that you can't list um, in such detail, so you can just say selling five clean unusuals list out the prices that's very important um, if you have a buttload of unusuals then you could just list a range maybe 12 to 100 keys let's say um, 11 key 14 key 15 key 20 key and 40 key all class let's say so of course people won't know what the hat is, so you'd want them to check it out by doing the command at BP. So most trade servers have this command. So it looks something like this. Selling five clean unusuals, list the prices, maybe something, a cool thing about one of the hats or multiple hats, and BP me to check them out. So that's only if you're selling a bunch of items, it's not exclusive to unusuals you can use this on lower tier trade servers too uh, so yeah you just want to list what you're selling maybe you're buying quick buying with a bunch of keys and after you do that just press enter and it should be bound so you don't have to only do chat binds um, so I spam the chat binds once every 10 15 seconds or so at least once every chat cycle so you can see the chat fades away after a while so then I just post another and you can also advertise on the microphone. Let's say you have a pretty decent microphone uh, so people can actually hear you. Then you can list what you're saying in voice chat. So, I'll do that right now, but quick tip before you start doing that. You want to be confident. Uh, your voice is pretty important when it comes to you selling your items. It, it is your character. Uh, so a lot of people make funny voices and stuff uh, just to create a character and that's perfectly fine so you do want to be confident in the hats you're selling you don't want to say anything really bad about your hat let's say you've been selling it for quite a while maybe a few months you don't want to say that's the worst hat ever because chances are no one will want to buy it then so here we go once again, I'm looking to sell three clean unusuals. I have a Disco Beatdown Phono Knot, looking for around 80 keys on it. It's a fresh unbox. Uh, it's also the only one in existence. It's a pretty cool all class. Uh, my other unusual is a Purple Energy Party Phantom. It's a nice spy misc, looking for around 115 keys on that. 
and I have a Cloud9 virtual viewfinder for 180 keys. It's a nice all-class misc. So if you're interested, then just send a trade. Um, I'm open to offers. So you just be confident. So of course, most traders want pure, pure keys for their hats, and that's totally understandable. Some traders even list the price as firm and pure only. But if you want to sell items at a decent rate, then I suggest being open to offers. Because if people can offer hats, maybe they'd offer overpay or nicer hats. I mean, you'll be surprised. You could probably get some pretty nice deals just by being open to offers. Sitting and waiting for pure could take a long time, and it's probably not worth it in the end. So, yeah, being open to offers is very helpful for selling your hats at a decent rate. Of course, it does require some experience if you're upgrading and downgrading hats or just items because you don't want to get the short end of the stick, you don't want to get a bad deal. So that requires just some experience, some good judgment, and that'll come over time. So that pretty much sums up selling your items. It's not easy, but hopefully these tips and tricks could help you just a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the video. I haven't posted in a long time, so I'll try to get back into things. Keep an eye out for the future. Wanted to thank you all for watching. My name's Apoc, and I'll see you all in the next video.